Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are doing an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas using the strainer, doing a strainer pour. Using Mixed Media Girl pouring paints, we've got Pacific Blue, Turquoise, Electric Purple, Metallic, Amethyst, and I've got the limited edition Glow Green, so this may or may not be available at the time you're seeing this video. And this is part of the 30 Days 30 different acrylic pour series. And to prop the strainer up, I've got this little two ounce um, like condiment cup. It's probably not the best option for this because of the size of it, but we're just gonna do our best and see what we get with it because it's really all I have available. So I don't have any other options. So I'm just gonna kind of center this and then I'm gonna go ahead and get everything opened so that I don't have to open things while I want to use them. And then I think I saw this color combination somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where I saw it, but I liked it, so I wrote it down. And that's how I came up with this one. But if you have any specific colors that you would like me to use in the future, drop those in the comments now. I'd be happy to do that. Now the strainer pour is really cool. It makes like these kind of lines from the paints. Uh, this may be a pretty good one to spin out, but I'm not going to do that right now. I do, I do plan to have some spinner um, pours coming up. There was actually one that I was going to do tonight, but um, I just don't have the space for the spinner at this exact second. So that's why I'm not doing it right now. I was a little disappointed as well, but they are coming up. They'll probably, they may even be just back to back. It might be the easiest way to do it once I get the setup going just to keep it. So I'm just going kind of in a pattern, Pacific, blue, metallic, amethyst, turquoise, and electric purple. Now watch, I'll watch the video back to edit it and I will have gone in a different combination or a different order. Um, and then ending with the glow green. I kind of want that glow green to be at the end so that it does show up and the piece glows. Uh, I'm gonna let that drain for just a little bit. I think I have enough paint um, on the canvas, even with the hole from the cup being upside down, needing to fill in. The cup is looking pretty awesome too. Go ahead and lift this. Try not to drip on anything. And then as you see under every project I have the parchment paper and this plastic on the table and the paint will peel off the plastic as well. So everything gets peeled and right now just set to the side for skins projects. I haven't really done any in a while but I do have it all collected. I don't throw any of them away. Once I get to the skins projects some of you who have been following for a really long time will be like I remember that. That was four years ago. <laughs> and yes. It will be the skin from that video. Letting that fill in, it looks so cool. I think I'm really going to like this. I wanna maintain that middle. Every time I don't have the spinner ready is when it's like, ah, oh, this would be perfect. Do I try to keep as much of that glow on the outside edge as possible so that there's a, a good amount of glow throughout the painting? All right, we're already going over here. Okay. And this glow in the dark flower is in the middle. As soon as I start painting, the flies decide to come out from wherever they're hiding. So if you see that, just tell it to go away. <laughs> I really like this. That amethyst mixing with the turquoise is making a gorgeous um, like metallic blue. Not quite as dark as the cosmic teal, which is my all-time favorite color from Mixed Media Girl. And it is a limited edition color, so I try to stock up whenever she has it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. And then I'm going to see if I can like turn off the lights and show it glowing in the dark. And then I'll also show it with a black light just so you get a better effect. A lot of times the glow in the dark doesn't show up very well on the camera, but with the black light, you can see it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do the in the light close up. <laughs> All right, so here we are for the in the light close up. 
all the very pretty sparkles from the um, amethyst, which was the only metallic in this piece. And then the glow in the dark being our like white contrasty color. I love this middle with all the different colors just kind of sneaking in there. And the pattern from the strainer definitely stayed in the middle. It got a little wonky from tilting it on the outside. All right, give me just a second and we'll come back for the glow in the dark. Okay, so here's our glow in the dark close up. This is almost in complete darkness. I just have one little light over the stove on and that is actually coming through very well in the camera. I'm very impressed. So I am happy with the way this turned out as far as the glowing is concerned. I love that I ended. So I have this beautiful flower in the middle and then the little wisps on each corner. And not that I think we need it, but since I already got it out, we'll do it with the black light as well. It's really cool to, that electric purple under the black light. So yeah, let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.